They're the world's most fearsome fighting team. Here's your look at the new NECA toys, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Raphael versus the Foot Soldier. After being accidentally exposed to radioactive ooze, four ordinary household pets are transformed into a band of wisecracking, pizza-loving, villain-dicing adolescent reptiles. Meet Leonardo, the super cool, sword-wielding leader, Raphael, the jokester, hurling manholes and one-liners in rapid succession, Donatello, the brain behind the brawn, and Michelangelo, the ice cream, pizza-gobbling party animal. Whether it's facing fierce enemies or saving humanity from near extinction with the guidance of their sensei these heroes in a half shell are always ready for straight out of the sewer action i hope you guys have been enjoying these turtle reviews as much as i have filming them i again so excited that we're finally getting ourselves turtle toys from the original vintage cartoon to get this review underway however putting my own Girlful glee aside, Raphael stands at 5.4 inches in height, which translates that to centimeters as being 37, 13.7, see I'm getting ahead of myself here, 13.7 centimeters. Now we're going to go ahead and backtrack ourselves to the foot soldier, setting it back to inches, taking it right to the very top of its head. The tape measure tells us that the foot soldier stands 6.6 .6, right there inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 16.7 centimeters, right there, centimeters tall. We'll get some size comparisons out of the way, I know even though this isn't, this, it's the same figure, there he is, there's the foot soldiers together. We can also bring in Krang, I've just been waiting for, I think I wanted to wait till the last figure review to bring out all the turtle toys so that you guys can see these. There's Krang, there's Shredder, there's the two foot soldiers. I hope to pick up more. We'll bring this other one over here there so you can see it. And then we'll bring in the Turtle Brothers. Now there's Raphael. Whoops, there's there's Donatello. He almost fell. Uh, here is Leonardo, the one we first started with. Let's try not try our best, reviewer. Try our best not to knock everything over. There's Raphael, once again. Minus, minus his sigh. We'll get into that in a second. Donatello, and last but certainly not least, there's Michelangelo. Again, don't fall over on me. Don't fall over on me. There we go. And there's the Turtle Brothers, and there are there's Shredder and his gang. A really nice display. I hope this isn't going to be the end of the NECA Turtles toys, because again, I've absolutely loved reviewing these guys for you. Uh, this is going to be not necessarily how I'm going to be displaying the figures, but at the very least, I certainly like that we are getting ourselves two foot soldiers and not just the one. Back to where we started from with the two figures in this set, Raphael and the foot soldier does come with a fair share of accessories. Now, with each of the turtles, it seems like we've gotten ourselves some carryovers, but then we also do get unique pieces. For example, for example, Raphael comes with some pointing fingers. Now, immediately, if you don't, if you look at it quickly, it almost seems like he's flipping the bird, but no, he does actually have some pointing fingers, um, none of which really still, again, seem to support, for example, the communicators. I guess if you wanted to just wedge, let's see if I can find, where's one of those open communicators? I had one right here, there we go. Yeah, it's not quite still suited for the communicator. It's still sort of missing that one hand, that one hand that would have been suited for holding the turtle communicators, which again, I'll just go back to one of the ones that we have gotten before. I think this one might have come with Donatello. I'll just probably heat one of the hands, pry the fingers away just enough that I could fit the communicator then in its hand because it just, it doesn't quite fit as is. And I mean, again, you could force it into place, but you're really just going to cause just hassle for yourself. So I'll probably just end up heating one of the fingers for those hands. So Raphael does come with these hands, which I guess are also suited for holding the sigh. Not kind of in between, not quite in between. Again, they're just kind of more so pointing hands. I guess they I guess you could yeah, I guess you could kind of wedge wedge it underneath and hold it like that. Um, but he does come with these these hands here. What's neat also is that he comes with a slice of pizza. 
slice of pizza could have easily also gone with Michelangelo, but one thing that's neat about this one is you'll see that there's a hole right through there. Kind of looks like it's a mouth. There's an eyes, a nose, and a mouth. A little pizza face man. Well, pizza face man, you can take one of the sides, take the tips, and you can run it right through the nose of pizza man. And you can have Raphael. He's really the only one that would be able to do this. You can wedge the side through the pizza and just have them displayed like that. I like that. I think that's kind of neat. The pizza is really nicely done. I mean, so, so nice for the fact that I almost feel like I want to take a bite out of it. It's extra cheesy, extra gooey. And again, a few little pieces of pepperoni. Looks like Mr. Pizza Face. I'm going to put those to the side. He also, of course, comes with his size. What Raphael toy would be complete, really, without a pair of size? Well, it's actually a pair of psi. Pluralizing psi. It's actually still psi. It's not really, it doesn't really have an S on the end of it. Now, the psi... You can either put, obviously, into Raphael's hands, and they fit quite snugly, yet comfortably, into his hands. Or, I guess, if you wanted to, you could try to do your best to wedge them into the sides. It still doesn't look like that's not supposed to be there, sort of, but it's enough that at least you can put them in some place, um, you know, when you're not displaying the figure with it. I think, ideally, it should go into the front. I think that's usually where he had kept them, but there's just no clearance. The sash here is glued it's affixed to the front of the shell there's no way so kind of like michelangelo you're relegated really only just to wedge the weapons into the side of the sash where this is slightly softer that's a whole lot of s's right there um, other than that that's all the accessories that the figure does come included with but i think again i like the fact that you can mix and match these if you want to say for example use the grapple line for Raphael, there's nothing really telling you you can't. Again, if your neighbor is yelling at you from across the way, just close your window. Just ignore that guy. That guy is a jerk. That's why people don't invite him out. He's just a lonely man. Um, so let's have a look at Raphael. Then we'll continue our efforts over to the foot soldier. Again, not really much to be touching base on. Stuff that which I've already mentioned in the three previous figure reviews can pretty much carry over to this figure here as well. Now, the mouth expressions will vary from turtle to turtle. Um, if we compare it, for example, to Donatello, Donatello just has a regular closed mouth. Raphael's got the grimace on the one side. Michelangelo had the grimace on the other side, as you can see right there. And then where is the Leonardo? Where's Leonardo? Where's Leonardo? I put him over to the side. Do you think I would have prepared this a little bit better? There you go. And he's got the grimace on both sides, depending again which which, you know, which way that you want it. I guess not which way you want it, because the turtles are unique to one another. Uh, the shells are still that... Oh, there we go. Oh, something just fell. I'll clean up later. Something, uh, the shells themselves are kind of a dark olive green color. The skin, that is, is an olive green color. And then we've got some dark green there on the sides of his arm and on the interior of the shell there as well. The raised elevated R is a nice touch, so it doesn't simply imply that they just took some paint and painted in the R there. I like that it's actually elevated. A nice touch. The R, the uh, the red actually is a nice a nice contrast color to the dark green. Fairly show accurate. Again, you've got the now the red kind of reads a little bit more dirtier than the other turtle brothers. It's just because you know the darker red does look like it's almost it looks like it's almost even wet than anything else. You've got the bit of the dark green happening on the back there. Again, not really a whole lot that I could talk about that I haven't already mentioned when it comes to Raphael, because pretty much it's just the same turtle as the other brothers, just with a different head sculpt and of course the introduction here of the red. By the way, that sound, I think I dropped a textbook and I had a, like a book on the end of my desk. Eh, it's, it's okay. I'd rather the book fall. The book can take some damage rather than one of these figures falling. Having a look at the foot soldier, like I said, there's not really a whole much to say for the foot soldier because we, like I said, we've already gotten this guy. He's right there. There's two of them right there. To get a third, to get a fourth, to get another eight of these would be certainly fine for me. The only thing I really wouldn't want to do is have to keep buying turtles, as good as these are. I don't need six or seven Raphaels or Michelangelos or a variety of those two in order to get some extra of these bad boys. So NECA, if you are certainly listening and watching this video, I would certainly be so much happier if you could also release these guys as either two packs, single pack, three pack, X-Pack, any one of those. Uh, the turtles, or the foot soldiers, are identical to one another. 
There's nothing different really to them. The shading is in the same placement. The eyes are also the same. A different expression could have been cool that you would have had maybe one eye open or the eyes slightly open on this one versus this one right here. But again, I'm not going to be overly nitpicking for the fact that we just get ourselves first and foremost turtle cartoon toys, but also to the fact that we're also getting ourselves army building foot soldiers just for the initial pickup of the first four turtles. Get yourself two foot soldiers. So I like that. Let's have a look at his accessories. I know we kind of backtracked and did the opposite for the foot soldier. He does come with a kind of rifle machine gun. And then he also comes with this. Now, the smaller hand gun, the hand blaster, for example, uh, both of these actually have been shown in the cartoon. I think Bot Bebop might have been wielding this. Rocksteady might have been carrying this. But on average, too, like on a regular basis through many of the episodes, I've also seen Shredder wielding this as well. Now, lead, leading then into a point that I had already made before, if NECA Toys could simply just do like army packs, like army builder packs, where we've got a couple of extra foot soldiers, a couple of extra of these, um, I'd probably be inclined to display my Shredder with one of these blasters as opposed to the sword. Now, don't get me wrong, the sword is fine, the, so the sword is good, but when I think of Shredder from the original cartoon, I don't think of that Shredder really wielding a sword. I think of him often wielding weaponry that he got himself from Dimension X and the Technodrome. Uh, the blaster, again, looks very show accurate, slightly a lighter shade of gray than the, like the machine gun uh, rifle here. Uh, this one is a slightly more darker gray, but as you can see, both of them are panel lined exquisitely. I mean, there's not, not really any bit of a crevice or detail that's been missed by this panel lining, which makes itself a little bit much more show accurate, because like everything in the show, of course, would have been very broadly outlined in black. So again, I like the fact that they would incorporate that as well. So even though this is technically... Uh, you know, weaponry that comes included with this foot soldier, I'd be more inclined to probably display it with every other character but the foot soldier. One other thing as well we can look at it too, this is the blaster that came with the other uh, foot soldier. Again, it's just sort of like a laser rifle. Uh, it will vary, so I'm glad that we don't get just carbon copies of one weapon to the other. We get something that's a little bit different, a little unique. And uh, again, worth the price of admission. Not that these needed a price of admission. The other accessories that come include with this foot soldier, again, the tried and true karate chop and hands, flat palms, four fingers and a thumb. Even an Android has proper anatomy. And also the punching fists. Slightly boring because if you want to display your foot soldier with something, the closed fists really aren't gonna help you all that much. At least he does come included with those as well. I just immediately out of the packaging, I just took the hands out of their sockets. I replaced it with the gripping hands and that's permanently how I'm gonna keep this particular foot soldier. And in fact, actually that's, I'm gonna keep all the foot soldiers looking that way with the gripping hands in place. So having a look at this guy's posability, as we've already looked at before, his head rotates all the way around, hinges up and down, and also rocks back and forth. The shoulders hinge outward to about there. There we go. And you can rotate them all the way around. They get sometimes stuck, but just perseverance, dedication, you'll get through it. You know, I, I know you can. Double hinge on the elbow. Uh, they also have a rotation in the wrists. Hinges back and forth. Waist swivel, which I still feel like is a ball joint. It probably is a ball joint because you can tilt this back, leaving the gap, but it, it's the indicator that it is a ball joint and rather not just a hinge joint. You can rotate that slightly up and down, more so just a swivel. Legs split, you can go forward on back, swivel on the top cut of the thigh, double hinge on the knee, loving this dark shading color. Swivel on the boots, the boots hinge up and down, and you can also bend at the toe, very similar to Shredder. What's there to really say about this line that I haven't already said? I mean, ideally, this hits all those marks. If I had a checklist of everything that would meet the criteria for cartoon accurate Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, NECA basically has hit every single mark. The only thing that, the only mark, the only box that I haven't checked off yet is 
the hopes that we will get an entire line of this. That's pretty much fitting way past the edge of the page. So sort of just cut that off at the bottom. But hopefully, NECA will continue to release figures like this. Because, I mean, for how good we've been getting these so far, we really are spoiled as Turtle fans that NECA is producing movie turtles, cartoon turtles. It's a good time to be a Turtle fan. I just hope we get more of these and right away, too. Being that the turtles are so similar to one another, that is mold-wise and paint-wise, it would be hard to pinpoint a favorite turtle. And I think after some deliberation, I think I've come up with my favorite turtle being Michelangelo. All of the turtles look cartoon accurate, but I really like how the orange has popped on the backdrop of the olive green color for the turtle's body. I think Michelangelo might be my favorite, being also the fact that he comes with this spinning nunchuck accessory. But all these guys look so good, so good, that I hope we also get future releases like a Splinter and April O'Neil. An android Krang body would make me fall out of my seat. I hope I'm not sitting in a really high stool because that probably will hurt quite a bit. Let me know, guys, what you have thought of this turtle line. I mean, now that we've finished off all four of the two packs, let me know what your favorite turtle is and also what your final thoughts are on this turtle line. Would you definitely be on board if NECA continues to release more turtle cartoon toys? I know certainly I would be. I don't know what the chances are at all if NECA would also expand on this line, giving us some vehicles. NECA's really not into vehicles. You'll notice more than anything else, they're into collectibles and more the figures. Vehicles would probably be quite a bit of a jump for them to get on board. But could you imagine, based on what we're seeing right here, if we were getting some of the drill transport pods? That would be so cool. Or even like a turtle van. I think the chances of that happening are probably slim to none. In the meantime, we can, of course, just enjoy for the fact that we're finally getting ourselves cartoon turtles with a company that is handling, I think, is the only company that could have possibly handled this property from the folks over at NECA Toys. Some good news, my friends, muchachos of the interweb. If you are interested in picking up any one of these sets for yourself, they're not that hard to find. Don't source out eBay, whatever you do. I know, unfortunately, if you're here in Canada, getting to a Target might be a little harder to come by because we don't really have Targets anymore here in Canada. But at the very least, source around if you're going to be picking these up online. Don't pay a crazy, if you think it's crazy, if you think it's a crazy price that you're going to be paying when you hit that buy it now, stop. Rethink your options. Maybe go outside, get some fresh air, and maybe get yourself an ice cream. Come back. There's enough of these going around. It's nowhere near the problems that we're having experienced right now with the 7-inch movie turtles, which again are in a scarcer quantity. These ones are a little easier to come by. You shouldn't have to pay too crazy of a scalper's price. Good luck. Again, if you feel like you're going to hit a buy it now on a really high price, go outside. There's going to be there'll there'll be ones waiting for you when you get back inside. Even if even if dinner is ready and you're coming back in, mom says you have to sit down and finish your dinner before you get back onto the computer. Don't fret it there will be more of these available. Today we were having a look though at the NECA toys. This was the final set consisting of Raphael and we were having a look at another foot soldier. I'm perfectly fine, another foot soldier, sign me up. Sign me up for another 14 of these. Uh, if you also wanna go back and have a look at the reviews that I've done previously to this, all four of the turtle sets, unless I do something really weird and I don't post them in sequence, you should be able to go back to the previous three videos and they're all together. I would think logically, later version of me, future version of me by a couple of days, I think would still have the common sense to probably put all of these together. So you should be able to see all the reviews I've done up to this point collectively together, like a happy family, like four brothers. You see how that kind of producers are saying that's not working. That's a bad, that's a bad comparison. Also make sure, my friends, you hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos will be coming your way. And maybe not necessarily turtle related, but definitely more videos and more NECA products will be coming soon to this channel. Stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.